At the Nevada test site, the American military also used smaller atomic blasts to learn how to survive a nuclear war. Some aircraft are instrumented to record the strains and pressures inflicted upon them. We're trying every angle and every gadget we can to find out what really does happen when an atomic bomb kicks out fiercely at the world around it. Shot day. Camp Desert Rock. H minus five hours. Like all too many people, both in and out of the military, before these men got their assignment for this operation, they had many misconceptions about the bomb and its effects. Some of them thought they would never again be able to have families. Some of them expected to glow for hours after the bomb went off. Many of them were afraid. They had never taken the time or invested the effort to learn the facts about what to do in case of atomic warfare. Like their Soviet counterparts, the American military came to an upbeat conclusion. In the minds of many of the men, there was doubt and fear before. Now there is confidence. Confidence that comes only with experience. Just treat it with respect rather than fear. Use a little common sense and observe a few basic precautions. After the walkthrough, we move back out of the contaminated zone to our parking area. We made it. And so can anyone else who goes through this kind of operation. 